Yes, the feeling of the answered prayer, if assumed and sustained, must objectify the answer to your prayer. So that's the meaning. If he call the things that be not as though they were, and the unseen become seen. If a physical fact can produce a psychological state, then that psychological state can produce a physical fact. That's the meaning of all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing. Believe that you have it now and you shall receive it. How can they believe you have it now? For the reality of it is an idea, isn't it? A mental picture in your mind. So you accept the mental picture, dramatize it, feel the reality of it, rejoice in it, believe in the law of growth, knowing that the seed you put on the ground will grow if you nourish it, sustain it, water it, and fertilize it. The philosophy of 6,000 years has not searched the chambers and the magazines of the soul. Emerson said that. Your mind is the, your consciousness is the sum total of all your subjective and objective impressions and awarenesses. Your mind is a medium of ideas, it's a collection of impressions. Some are good and perhaps some are not so bad. Uh, your mind, therefore, is a medium for all sorts of impressions, and your mind should be open only to ideas which heal, bless, inspire, elevate, and dignify your soul. For ideas are our masters. Ideas generate emotions. The reason there is so much misery in the world is the ideas many men hold are completely false. And these emotions get snarled up in the subconscious, and they must have an outlet. And being of a negative nature, it must be a negative outlet. Uh, what saw the steam coming out of the kettle? He was a Scotchman, mechanic. His mother was making a cup of tea, and he saw the result of the steam forcing the lid up. He began to think, what would happen if I harnessed that steam? Tremendous power there. All he had was an idea. He began to think about it from all angles. The idea came from his subconscious mind to force steam into a cylinder, which contained a piston. The expansion forced the piston back and drove the wheels. That was the beginning of the steam engine, which revolutionized industry all over the world. 